It is now time to talk about chat GPT. <laughs> and is it smarter than your doctor? Uh, artificial <laughs> intelligence. It's become such a topic. Uh, the trending topic now is, uh, can artificial intelligence take your job? And I have to say, as a physician, when I looked at it, I, of course not. But a new study tells me that that might not be the case. In this new study from the American Journal of Gar Gastroenterology, they used chat GPT, which is a common artificial intelligence app, and they submitted questions from their common board exams. And what score do you think that ChatGBT got? Um, give you just to give you some understanding. A passing score is seventy percent. Mm, let's say seventy-five. Mm, let's give it an eighty. Okay, it scored sixty-five percent. Um, and as Did as the pass. questions began to get more and more difficult, it began to get less and less accurate. And also a caveat in this is that they did not produce pictures for ChatGBT, which obviously are a part of normal medical exams. But the interesting part is that artificial intelligence is called that because it can continue to learn. And so the question now is, what can we do with this information? How can you, we use this for clinical interventions? And I know it's too early to tell, but what's the possibility that this could be the way of the future? You know, I think that there's a very, very real possibility that this will be involved in clinical medicine. Uh, to be a tool in clinical medicine, something has to have more than 95% accuracy. Obviously, with today's score, we're not there yet, but can we get there? And I think so. You a sound like one of my professors. We're not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> a tool, but not a replacement. Exactly. I like exactly. that. Interestingly enough, I actually asked ChatGBT uh, Chat some questions that I would uh -huh. normally ask a medical student. Here I asked basic symptoms of a common emergency called a pulmonary embolism, a blood clot in your lung. I listed some common symptoms a patient should have, cough, shortness of breath, and ChatGBT got it correct with the correct answer. Not only that, with other causes of the same symptoms and then appropriate information about where to go. All right. We'll be watching. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.